can't. <sighs> My arms hate me. Oh, nope. This is hard. This is a lot harder than I expected it to be. I did this for you. Mommy, see. <laughs> entryway because today I'm going to show you all of my vintage aprons. So in my last video I kind of mentioned during the baking outfit that if you guys wanted an apron tour I would give you one because I have a lot of aprons and I was really surprised that almost everybody wanted a vintage apron tour. So I thought today I would film that for you all of you because I mean who doesn't like a good closet tour of sorts. Behind me, you can see, this is where I keep all of my aprons, I will show you in a second. But I want to give a little shout out to my friend Stephanie Canada, who a couple months ago filmed trying on all of her aprons at once. She put every single apron she owned onto her body, and I think I'm going to try and do that today. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, I have a lot more than she does. Um, it's kind of like the vintage version of the, like, how many t-shirts can you fit on your own body, uh, but with aprons. So, go visit her channel, I will link her video down below if you want to see it, and I guess let's get started with this apron tour. So behind me, like I said, you can see, this is the closet where I keep all of my aprons. Um, it used to be a broom closet, oh my gosh, the door's stuck. It was a broom closet, and now it's an apron closet. Um, I have a lot of aprons, as you can see, they're hanging on the door, they're hanging in here. They are deep. There are hangers behind hangers. <sighs> I don't know why I have so many. I just do. So I'm going to start over here on the door. This is kind of where my... I would say this is where my holiday aprons are hanging, but I haven't actually organized it like that. I just... I was trying to get everything hung and off of the floor. This is not going to work. I'm going to have to adjust all of you so that I can try on the aprons as I show them to you. Um, let me figure out a different camera angle. Uh, so let's just start here with the door. I think I wore this one in my baking outfit, either for the fall or the winter outfit ideas. I think maybe it was the fall one because I had a pink dress on and it matched, but it is this pretty little three pocketed <laughs> sheer apron. This is called a hostess apron. This is what women would wear when they wanted to look pretty and functional, but it's really just meant as another accessory, which why don't we bring that back? Aprons are such a great accessory. I mean, you can jazz up an outfit with an apron. I can already tell I'm going to talk way too much about aprons, so I'm just going to go keep going on this first rack, um, and I will keep a little apron counter up here so that I can count how many aprons I actually own. This next, oh, this is going to be such a pain to put all these back. This next one is a Christmas apron. I'm really excited. I tried to pull out all of my Christmas aprons because obviously it's winter and we're getting close to Christmas. And I really want all of my holiday aprons for holiday baking and all of that cute stuff. The pocket's really small on this one. This, I think I got in a lot off of eBay alongside this one. But it's got a little... Christmas tree. Uh, this one I did wear for my Christmas baking outfit. Oh, you Next is another vintage one. Most of these are vintage. Most of these are probably 50s or 60s, but I do have a couple of modern ones or handmade ones. This one I thought was really pretty because it's got the scalloped edge and the pockets are a very unique shape. So um, I really like it. I don't have a lot of explanation for why I have all of these aprons. So don't judge me, I just do. Last on that hook, we have this crazy colorful 1960s floral um, with these super bright edges. This one I think I got from Stephanie. She will be able to confirm when she watches this video down below. I already feel like I'm just gonna be a big ball of floof. This is a child's apron. <laughs> um, I have a few aprons for my girls. I have two, oh, I have I have three girls, two of them are old enough to want to help to cook. I'm gonna put it on because why not? Uh, it's a little hand crocheted apron with a little rainbow edge and I thought it was super cute so, oh it just barely ties around me. 
me. <laughs> Next up, I think I also got this one from Stephanie. So this one has the same cute little handkerchief across the bottom and then as the pocket. Uh, this next one my mom made me actually and we have a matching little girl apron that she made for one of my daughters uh, and it's strawberry pet fabric because I love strawberries and my whole kitchen is strawberries. So next is another Christmas apron. This I got off of eBay in a lot of like five Christmas aprons and I love this one. I love the colors. Can't tell if it's inside or out. Nah. Whatever. This also came in that same lot, uh, along with the Christmas tree apron that I already have on. Um, and I, this one's backwards. This is so cute. It has like little, um, maybe like Dutch inspired dishes on it. We have another, I think this is meant for a little girl. Several of my aprons have come from thrift stores because that's where I look for them, but I'm pretty sure this is meant for a little girl or a teen because it's not wide enough to really do anything. I want to say I got this from my friend Jen um, in her sewing group and it's just a sheer bow print? No, flower print. I'm really not tying these very well. Can't feel where anything is. And here's another Stephanie apron. You really should go check out her channel. I haven't even taken off the tag off of this one. She was at an antique store where she lives in Florida, I think, and she grabbed it for me because it's so beautiful. The pockets are amazing. They're like these basket flower fabrics. Um, I just, I love how unique it is. Dear Stephanie, why did you make me do this? This apron, I believe I got at an antique store a long time ago. This is one of my first vintage aprons that I ever bought, and it has this beautiful fabric on the and, and then it's just sheer in the middle. So I'm gonna change my angle so that you can see the aprons a little better. You're not gonna see my face. Hopefully that won't be an issue. Uh, yeah. But I'm so fluffy now that I cannot tie this. I should have, you know, I should have planned for that. It does tie on me, but it's like, literally not. <laughs> it's not working. So I'll just show it to all of you. It's got this yellow and blue um, Dutch print china all over it and it's gingham. And um, I'm gonna put it back in my closet because I can't tie it. This one. I don't remember. It's probably a Stephanie or a Jen apron. Most of these I think are. They're either look there. A lot of them I got from Stephanie and Jen. Um, this one is from Stephanie and again this is one where she was at an antique store and she messaged me because she knows I have a terrible addiction to aprons and it's got carousel horses on it. Oh, I have, I have a soft spot for carousel themed things. On to the next one. Apron was actually sent to me by an Etsy seller, and I'm sad to say I don't remember the name of the Etsy shop, but it was a little extra. And I think I bought a dress from her, and she sent this apron along with it. It's so pretty, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I took a thing these things a long time because, like, mm. this is another one. I actually, um, I wonder if I can find the picture of me wearing it back when I first started my fashion blog, I will put it in over here somewhere. But uh, I found this at an antique store a long, long time ago um, in a galaxy far, far away. And I'm running out of waist space. I don't know how many more aprons I can fit on my body. This next one, I don't remember where I got this. I, uh, I 
I really don't. Probably off of a buy sell trade group wall that I really can't remember. I it, it, it could have been from Stephanie or Jen. I can't tie it. I just I like I can't reach. So I'm just gonna carry on. This one is I think I got this from Stephanie. Just assume that like half of my aprons are from Stephanie. She's an enabler. And then this this came in a lot off of eBay along with the other Christmas aprons that I've already showed you. It's called it a Christmas apron because it's green with a little red cross stitching on it. Oh my god. This one came from my friend Jen, and this is waxed fabric. This is a canning apron. I believe this is made to be reversible. I just realized that because there's a pocket on the inside that you can get into. And then if you turn it around, there's a pocket over here that you can get into. But anyway, this is waxed fabric. It's meant for canning so that things just kind of roll right off of it. And I'm just going to bring the rest of my apron out so that I don't have to constantly reach behind me. <laughs> I regret everything. So this is an apron my mom made me. And um, I have so many left. Jen, this, um, this one is pretty delicate, <laughs> I need to fix it, but it's really, really cute, it's got, um, like, vintage kitchen vegetables and, uh, like, a old stove on it, um, I'm not gonna tie this one around me because I don't want to rub it further. Next is a, I'll need your help to tie this one, teapot print, and I don't remember where it came from, but it is very cute, and, um, Tie this for me. I can't. And then this one that my mom made me, I am not gonna put on because it's complicated and it doesn't quite fit right. But it's got an owl on it. Come on. Um, you know what? I can just fold down the top. But yeah, it's got an owl on the bodice, and my husband actually has a matching one that she made him. This is a apron that I I don't know what happened to this apron. I think I found it at a thrift store. And it's got this random strap around the back, which I think, I don't, I don't know. I've been meaning to fix it and I don't understand what the strap is doing here, but it was a thrift store find. And so I figured I'd try to fix it up. This one, I believe, I don't remember. I think I got this from Stephanie and it is Halloween colors, which I really think is cute. I pull it out around Halloween, fall time. This is a thrift store find. I thought the balloons were super cute. I, I keep doubting myself because I don't know anymore. This was also my grandma's. I have a matching, um, what you call it, tablecloth to this somewhere. That's another thing. You know, let me know if you want another vintage linens tour, I have, a lot of vintage tablecloths that I could film for you. If you like that sort of thing, um, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know that you want to see more stuff like this. Although, I don't think I'm ever going to do this challenge again because it sucks. Um, this one probably came from Jen or Stephanie, um, but it is just a pretty sheer blue paper. This I think I got while thrifting. I believe I found this while it was thrifting. Um, I've run out of things to say because I just want this to be over. This one I found at the store. This is one of my favorite aprons. I wear it almost every Christmas time in whatever Christmas dress I have because I just think it's so pretty. This next one came from my friend Clara. She sources a lot of stuff for me and she found this apron and I was gonna sell it. 
it's so pretty. <laughs> this is another thrift store find. I thought it was cute because the inside of the pockets are like a ladybug fabric. But I have a thing for red and gingham. I should like I should tally up what my most common apron pattern is. These next few, this is a little girl's apron, so I cannot put it on, but it is strawberry print from my friend Brittany, who is at Foxborough Vintage, and you all should follow her because she has a YouTube account where she talks about reselling and all of that good stuff. These next two were made by my aunt um, when I was little, so they obviously do not fit me, but she made me this one because I like to play the piano, but this one also she made me for Christmas one year, and um, it's teeny tiny. It's meant for like a four-year-old. Next. Oh, jeez. <sighs> this, again, this is not mine. This is my husband's, but why Why not? I guess I'm this far. I might as well put it all on. <laughs> I'm not going to tie it because my arms are tired. Um, this one is also a smaller apron. I think it's for like a teenager. Mm. And I'm just going to do that because it won't tie around me. But it's strawberry print. I think this also was sent to me from Brittany. We're down to the last two. It is this bright yellow um, floral, pretty, I just, you know, I like yellow and red and it tickled my fancy, but I need to fix the pocket because, whoops. Um, ooh, can I even do this? Sure I can. I'm the gingerbread man. And last but not least, this is probably not even the last apron that I own, but it's the last one hanging in the closet. And it is this red and green strawberry print, which this is one of my amps. I think this might be my favorite apron that I have. Um, it's got tulip pockets and it's strawberry print and it is beautiful. Um, I'm just... I, 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 uh, it's difficult. So that's it! <laughs> I have both of my aprons on. <laughs> well, so that's it! I hope that you enjoyed this video. I feel absolutely ridiculous. If you... <laughs> I hope that you <laughs> Just... Why did I do this? So that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe. I upload every Sunday and I try to post a lot of vintage style advice and Thank content like much. that. I hope that wherever you are, you're feeling safe and loved. And until I see you again, have a beautiful day and thank you for watching. Bye! Now I have to take everything off. Why? Purple. You like my purple buttons? Yeah, and you butterfly. Mm -hmm. You got butterflies like me does. I have butterflies like you? <laughs> You're very cute. I like your makeup.